Hi there. Now this hull is ready to sand. What I want to accomplish with the sanding is to get the hull fair and uh, remove any unevenness as I have a lot here. And also to prepare the hull for the later lamination with glass fiber. As sanding is rather dusty, I want to do this on the outside. So we're going to start with taking everything outside. To be as effective as possible, I divide the sanding in three steps. The first step is to remove all excess epoxy. Here I start on the keel area and move downwards. This area of the hull is very uneven, as the different bending curves of the strips results in ridges and valleys. Thus I must move carefully to only remove the excess epoxy, making sure that I don't accidentally cut into the wood with the edge of the sander. I use both hands to hold the machine while I gently remove the excess epoxy without removing wood. The cable and the vacuum exhaust needs to be kept away, as if any of them gets stuck, you might get a nasty cut into the wood. Thus I change the attack vector again to get some help from gravity, keeping the cable and the hose away from the edge of the hull. Some wood is also removed during this step, but I make sure to leave as much as possible and at least 4 mm. It will probably be some epoxy left in the deepest valleys. Here for example I didn't glue on enough wood. And the hull is getting too thin. I will have to take other measures later on. In this area I have a similar problem, but less extreme. First I focus on removing the epoxy in the lower spots. By using the edge of the belt sander. The second step is to get a locally smooth transition. without any sharp ridges. Here in the back end the situation is the worst. I have to balance the different priorities. Removing all blank epoxy which will otherwise result in bad lamination. and still keeping a thick enough hull with the correct shape. On this side I succeed with two out of three priorities. On this side I try to get the epoxy, cutting deeper and deeper into the wood. I decide I can't do more with the sand though, and attend to something easier. Removing the epoxy, followed by creating a locally smooth surface. This gives me time to think about the problem in the aft end. I decide to roughen the epoxy surface with a rasp. This will create a surface ready for bonding and lamination. After removing the dust, I will be ready for the third step, which will start on the inside. With wheels on a strong back, it's easier to move the hull back. I mix up some lightweight epoxy fairing compound. This brand is mixed one to one. The color is pleasant light gray. I use a fairing compound to fill the low spots in the hull.
with the rubber squeegee, it's possible to get a good coverage. In the aft end, I need a lot of filler. Working with the squeegee. I want a small overfill. So I do several passes until I'm happy. Continuing the third step outside. The aim of the third step is to get a fair hull. Sanding by hand with a 40 grit paper on the longboard gives the best compromise between speed and control. No risk of cutting too deep. And you get a hull with an overall smooth surface. As I haven't installed the utter bow yet, I have to do that. I prepare the surfaces with thickened epoxy. I used very thin strips for the bendy part. About 4 mm at the thinnest place. Instead I increase the overall thickness with adding two layers. I staple these in place. And get some help from masking tape. I add some more thickened epoxy where I have gaps. The excess is cut off. And I proceed with another layer in the third step. As I didn't succeed to get enough overfill in the first layer. After a second go with the 80 grit paper I stop. And start shaping the bow. I carefully follow the rounding of the hull. until I reach the staples. This should be removed. I continue with extending the hull shape onto the bow. This is important to get a smooth cutting edge of the bow. Here you can see that I turn the angle of the sander as I move and remove the wood until I get a smooth transition. I finish with a short sanding with the 8 grit paper over the entire hull. Vacuum off the dust for the next step. In the next building episode I will laminate the hall. Hope to see you back here then.